friends, that's just a quick look at last week's spread and now we're heading in to this week's spread. So I'm actually going to show you everything that I did without editing mainly and see how it goes. I'm just going to talk over it like I would normally. So I'm using this Little Bee Snowflake Washi. It's super cute. I got it from Susie Stick It who is an UK online retailer and she has loads of washies on her website as well as stickers and other things like like branded things not like um homemade stuff but it's awesome she's got really good prices for the UK she's also stocking like the happy planner and all those things so I'll leave a link to her shop down below it's just suzystickit.com it's really sweet that little sample of washi was actually in my order packet and I actually met her at the London planner meetup and she's a very sweet lady she is great for getting your orders out on time and she brought my order to me physically so I didn't have to pay postage which was pretty awesome so now you're gonna see me struggling with this washi because I was like struggling to make it straight and like I'd wanted it to line up but then I realized that it's actually more of an aqua than a blue and I was a bit annoyed because I wanted it all to be blue and silver but it is more of an aqua tone but it's not too bad that you can tell anyway do you like my nails because I match them to this spread they're like light blue with silver glittery gradient tips so they're all peeling off now like today when I'm actually recording this voiceover and I need to redo my nails don't know what to do next but I made myself these sheets of stickers and I decided to change things up a bit I decided that I was going to put all my quotes and to-do lists on the bottom and so I was going to put like the today section on the top so that's why I'm putting all my daily vitamins in the middle bit and then I tried to show you that I was peeling off the stickers but you can't really see that but I love my stickers because they fit so perfectly and they're really easy to like stick down. I know that sounds stupid because they're just stickers, but I just really enjoy them. So instead of silver, obviously like you've got grey, so I did blue, grey and like silver accents I suppose. So it kind of turned out like a winter wonderland and my coupon for my shop is still going on. You can't actually buy this sort of set of stickers that I've made because I made it just for myself but you know there are options like the the daily vitamin no the daily vitamin strips aren't on there but these TV strips are on there and you can buy them in a rainbow color assortment and you get three of each color or you can message me and I can make them all into the color variations that you want so there's only two TV shows this week I mean two days of two TV shows. Oh and then these are my to-do headers. Can you even see it says to-do? I put the to-do in grey so I mean they are there but basically I was gonna say about my um my TV programs. I've got um, Made in Chelsea and Homeland on Monday and then on Friday it's Two Broke Girls and Big Bang Theory which I love both of those shows, so I'm really happy that they're still running. And they only started quite late on in this season of TV shows anyway. So I decided to turn my planner upside down because it was a lot easier to stick the to-dos straight. So I just sort of shove them as close to the daily vitamin strip as possible and then just stick it down. Let's see, you see me shovel it, shoving it towards the back because there's because the sticker's already stuck there, it sort of gives it like a little base like a there's like a gap a pre-made gap for the sticker to just sit in which is really quite fun so then it was so much easier to do them that way and then I decided I should do my today stickers at the top because it would be easier to do them from there so I these ones also say today in a grey but I don't know if you can really see them you can probably see them a bit better when they're a bit close up so with all my pre-planning on the days, I don't actually write the date as you can see, so it's, I have to um, leave them on there until I know I'm going to stick them down, 
which is really annoying because I'm just like I need to remember that it's there so that's why you always see all my pre-planning page flags they're not page flags what are they called post-its everywhere so yeah, and actually tomorrow, the 15th, is my brother's birthday. So it says Ger's birthday, and to call your brother in Chinese is Guga. Well, that means older brother, so that's why I call him Ger, which is weird, but everyone else calls him Andrew or Andy, but that's his English name. We'll get into that in another video maybe sometime soon, but I think I was just trying to choose which quote sticker I wanted to put in the corner, and it's a little snowman. And it says, what does it say? You make my heart melt, which I think is really sweet because he's obviously a snowman. Oh, and here I'm trimming off the sticker because it wasn't straight with the rose gold washi down the side. So, yeah. Then, then I'm going to open up my planner again. Back to the normal position. Do you like my Mickey Mouse pyjamas? Yeah, and then you can see me placing my TV shows on the next week, and then I just like sort them out later. But I'm gonna do the to do section now. So I was trying to decide because I printed out four checklists, and I was trying to decide if I should use three or four. So in the end, I went with three. So I put one on Friday, one on Tuesday, and then one on Sunday. And again, I just shove it right to the top of where the header sticker is, and then it makes it perfectly straight. And then I just stick stick it down the rest of it, if that makes sense. And then now I'm going in with my quote stickers. Again, I just do that shoving technique. It works really well. That one says, I like you a lot. -o. It's like a little, but a lot. And this one says, I can't read it through the screen, on my planner it says, you can always find comfort in the hands and heart of a friend, which I thought was really sweet. And this one is obviously, says, penguin kisses, but it was really hard to stick it down. So, I'm trying it to do, I did it the other way. And then I wasn't sure whether I wanted to put that quote in the last box or have a to-do list so I just left that and then I moved on to the other things but I'm not sure like so I'm using these four boxes and again I just shove it to the top of that header and then press it down and it pretty much works out perfectly it's kind of a bit weird because it does go a bit wonky if you haven't lined up the header exactly straight but it's not too wonky that it bothers me so it's fine like the end result you can't really tell anyway so then I just sort of alternate between the bottom and the top now I'm using all the darker col colors on like the sort of bottom edges because where that green is it's really quite um, penetrative through sticker paper so that's why I used darker the darker ones rather than the lighter ones over it so that when it gets when they get stuck down when they're stuck down you can't see it because sometimes you can see it through stickers which is a little bit annoying so this one I stuck down slightly wrong and oh I did manage to peel it up a little no it didn't because it, the paper was peeling up so I decided against peeling it up properly so it's a little bit wonky but it doesn't bother me and now that I'm looking at it in my planner it actually looks fine so there we go. I mean, do you like this style of me talking through the video with it sped up or would you prefer me to talk through it as I'm doing it? Because that is a lot longer to edit and, you know, sometimes I'm just, I'll be just rambling and stuff. But actually, when I was doing this, I was watching Homeland, so you wouldn't have been able to hear me planning over the Homeland audio, <laughs> which wouldn't make any sense. So that's why I decided to do this speed up voiceover thing. So if you guys like this, then let me know. I mean, before I used to just edit it down until it was like a 10 minute video. But this is actually a really quite long video. And I'm, I'm not really sure how much I'm going to be able to talk. Because it's just me peeling up a sticker and sticking it down. Like over and over again. And then I was obviously deciding where to put things. 
so the half boxes, I mean, there's a set of um, strips that are like the size of the headers. So I also used, I also use those. I use those as sort of like washy kind of strips to fill in like little gaps so there was no white space. So that's why I did it with that one in that half box. And I don't like to match up the half boxes with the patterns because I feel like they need to stand out. So they need to be a different pattern, although they're sort of similar patterns. So like if you were doing, I don't know, like a blue, well, I'll take this for example, you're doing a blue and silver spread. So you do like the blues and then you'd put like a silver half box on it. And if you had a silver, you'd put like a blue half box on it. So like that is a little mini silver um, box. Is it silver? It's like a grey, a grey third box. Oh, so and I'm just using some more washy header strip things. And those are like silver glitter, which I thought was really cute. So, spoiler alert, I'm coming out with a glitter set very soon. It's probably not going to be available till the new year now, which is really sad because, like, I'm probably going to use it for my new year, but you could use it for, like, any week. Imagine just having a glittery spread throughout the day. Like, wouldn't that be so much fun? Actually, I lie because I'm already, I've got new year sets. Like, I've bought the one from Elle Fowler Glam Planner. And I also have the one from Ellie Beth Designs, Rachel. So I've actually got two sets that I'm going to use that week. But yeah, I'm excited to show you. And next week is Christmas week. And so I've got my stickers all ready for that. So I'm using a mix of my own ones and Ellie Beth Designs, which are very cool. So some of these bigger washi strips, they're actually um, the full boxes that I cut up. So that pattern, I didn't really want to use it on its own because it's actually the same pattern as the today headers. So I was like, I eh, didn't want to do that. So I'm just putting this little third box in and then I'm going to put in a scallop box because I thought they were so cute. I was so excited to use my scallop boxes because like, I mean, the normal boxes aren't really that hard to create. But like my scallop boxes, I am so proud that I created those because they were difficult, let me tell you. And I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make them patterned. That's going to be tough. So then I put another header strip. This is one of the blank ones. So there, there's seven today strips and one black, blank one of the, that same pattern. And then the same with the to-do ones. And then there's eight blank strips of a different pattern and that's going to be the new format of my sheets so that comes on the mint love sheet which is the january sheet kit that matches and i've got a valentine's day kit coming out soon very soon actually um the mint love one i'm actually i've done a video for it and i just need to um it's edited and everything i just need to upload it so that will probably be going up on Thursday so I hope you enjoy and then yeah it's going to be really cool I'm going to actually use it in January because it matches the January spread oh and these are my new date covers these are also going to be released on Thursday but I will show you well I'm showing you how they work now so you've got like the dates and these ones I've done on snowflakes so it says 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And then you've got the days of the week in a really cute font. So they cover up, like if you're using a different colour completely, it's cool because it means that you can't see any of the colours, which is pretty awesome. I just like how cute they are and it's so much easier to see the days. Like, I don't know, it's just cool.
you get you get um, the covers you get one to 31 and one blank one of whatever pattern you choose with the numbers obviously so you can have snowflakes you can have hearts you can have stars and I've even done balloon ones oh this is me trying to get up, get up my weekend banner ah I need water while I'm talking through it's like freaking half an hour video <laughs> what was I thinking um, and then it gives you five of each of the seven days. So you get five Mondays, five Tuesdays, five Wednesdays, five Thursdays, five Fridays. So you've got enough to do one whole month, which is really cool. And maybe a few more. One more. I don't know. So then I'm just putting down some... I, did, I put down a little cute penguin on Monday. And then on Saturday, it's my friend's baby's christening. And I'm going up to see that. So... I put down a little baby grow and then the pacifier I didn't really like so I just put a little baby bottle and I think it's so cute. Although she is a girl and it does look like a boy but I wanted it to match the spread. Technically I could have used a bit of pink because it would have helped. I don't know why I put pink in the weekend banner when there's actually no pink in the spread at all. I should have just used pink icons, that would have made them stood out. Ah. So then I found a, a wheelie bin because it's a rubbish day on Friday. So I used this glitter third box and then I stuck my wheelie bin down. It's so cute. So proud of my wheelie bins. I hope you like them too. They are available in the shop. But they are, they will come in. Like you do get one wheelie bin and one wheelie recycle bin. They come in each of the new kits now. So like the old kits with the, the weekend banner sheet doesn't have actually that much stuff. But the new ones, they have loads of icons and everything. And some TV strips as well. This little gym bag, that's from XOXO Shao. She has a channel here on YouTube and she also has a shop, an Etsy shop. Well, it is XOXO Shao. So yeah, I'm just, I've got dance on Thursday. And we might be going out for dinner afterwards, which is why I've got that little silver box. As like a, it's like a... Um, like a farewell dinner kind of thing and then obviously because it is my brother's birthday on Tuesday oh that that little bow is for a train ticket and yeah this little cupcake for Tuesday and one on Saturday because my it's my friend's birthday so I decided where I want to put it these are like matte removable stickers but they're not mine I bought them from a shop called Lily Daniels Designs, but I'm not too keen on her shop anymore, so I'm just trying to use up all my stickers that I've got from her. That little bow is from her as well. And now, I'm just using my little decoration penguin set, and I thought that little sleeping penguin was really cute for Sunday, because I've got a long weekend, so Sunday will be a sleepy day. And then the little baby penguin for the christening day. And then a fish weekend for... A fish weekend? A fish penguin. And then a rain penguin. Sad penguin. I don't know. I just like the penguins. I think they're so cute. It's like winter wonderlandy and penguiny all at the same time. This video is so long. And then I looked at the top and then decided that I needed to put you back into frame, which is why I pushed up that corner. So I'm just adding in more penguins. I thought they were a really cute addition on the bottom, but then I lifted that balloon up because I wasn't sure whether I was going to put the quote or the... Um, to-do list so I just left it like unstuck the little backward penguin with the little high so cute oh I just love them I think they're so adorable those are available on the shop now and it's like a little sheet of like over 20 penguin stickers and they're just so cute and you can put them all over your spread and I really like the two penguins like the mama and baby penguin together that's just too adorable and then it also comes with like extra little fishies and little hearts so hopefully you can see me add those in oh I just decided to put another so balloon penguin in because I needed to remember to put to pack my gift and stuff like that so there's like a little heart that I added and then um, another little heart there I don't know why I decided it was going to come out of its bum but there you go then I put little fish in that arm of that one. Yeah, it was just so cute to do that. And then I put a little heart over the baby penguin because it's just cute. The baby penguin loves its mama or big sister. I haven't decided. 
Oh, so this is my Let It Snow quote, and it's actually written in, like, snow. I thought that was really cool. And then I finished sticking down that little balloon that I left sort of unstuck, lifted up. And then I thought I was kind of done. I just needed to remember about Christmas Jumper Day, which is on Friday of... So I decided to write... So this is the end result. I hope you enjoyed watching me stick all these stickers down because it was really fun. It actually took a lot less time than I thought it would and I love my new date covers. So look out for those coming up soon. I'll have some decorations. I might stick those in. So these sticko snowflake stickers I actually got from Susie Shop Susie Sticker as well. And I thought they were going to go perfect with this spread and I actually planned out for these to be in this spread. And then I don't know why I forgot about it, and I also forgot my glitter washi tape, which I put down the side every single week. So, like, what is wrong with me? I've just been a uh, <laughs> I've just been obsessed with watching other people's plan with me's, and none of them use like the glitter washi down the side like I do. But I think it's so cute, and it's much better to use it there than like separating off the weekend because I don't think that the weekend needs to be separated considering that you've got the weekend banner there but yeah I just I really like these snowflakes and they've got like a glitter on them as well and then so they're like white and like ice blue so I just stuck them like randomly throughout my spread and then I also stuck some on the top and there's like some weird snowball stickers too so I really liked the big ones which I stuck on the washi tape so it kind of disguised that teal pattern -y one. What, what would you call it? It's kind of like chevron, like 3D chevron if you look at it in a cool way. So I don't know, I really like that pattern but I just wished it was more blue than green because it looks more green to me. So there we go, never mind. See look, the snowflakes and snowballs kind of cover it up and then there's some smaller snowflakes that I just put up the top near the date covers. So they were really cute. And I actually haven't trimmed that snowflake between the Tuesday and Wednesday yet. Kind of left it. So then I decided to fill in some gaps where there's a bit of darker blues. But, and where I think I'm not going to write anything. So there's still like space if I wanted to put something there. Like I could put like a circle or, you know, like a heart or something. Or a page flag. But I just didn't in case. Because I might not even get it. I don't know. But it's weird. I just like putting them in like the corners. So they're not like, they're sort of like on the edges. Which is kind of cool. And they had some really tiny little bubble snowball things. So I added those everywhere. And then, yeah, that was the end of it. Oh, I just decided to add a few more down the bottom. These are white ones because... They just matched a bit better. And then I needed to trim off my glitter washi and that's the end. And this is the completed spread. I hope you liked it. I will be updating through my Instagram. You can search the hashtag LingPlans or find me at Ling2P. And these are just my date covers I thought I'd just show you.